You know, Thomas Jefferson and America's founders, I added, argued that corporations need to be regulated for the public good. Just as good cells in the human body, vital for our growth and well-being, turn cancerous when the mechanisms of regulation fail, so corporations can become the source of our destruction unless we find the human power to bring them into balance and proper regulation for the common good. You know, our only hope of bringing them into balance is for we, the people, to take responsibility for governing our world. It's one thing to militate about what we don't like, I concluded, war, injustice, failing economy, devastation of our environment, you know, and hope somebody else solves it for us. But we are the leaders we've been waiting for. We are the sovereigns. We, the people, are the ones who create governments in the first place. <laughs> then I handed out the uh, I am a world citizen buttons. The kids especially love them. You know, they, they take them and they look at them and they say, cool. Uh, while they're fastening them to their coats. They love it. At our website, I added, you'll learn how to join with your fellow humans in taking back our planet, even to setting up our own world court of human rights, and more. You can even download the statute and the applications for the human rights documents we issue. Uh, one of my mentors, and probably maybe you've heard about this, is Bucky Fuller, who reminded us if you want to change anything, don't fight the existing reality. Create a new reality, and you render the existing reality obsolete. <laughs> In Mahatma Gandhi, he wrote, be the world you want. While our Renaissance man, Steve Jobs, had boldly suggested, be the future you want. Occupy Wall Street, sure. But it's high time for us to take the big leap to land on the political space beyond so-called national frontiers. In fact, guess what? We, humanity, are already occupying it. See you the next time.